That's the only reason why I'm in this trouble because I got up in it. And the only reason I'm going to get up out, I got to get up in his stuff. I'd rather give it to God first because they're going to talk bad to me anyhow. Because when I give it to God, God going to shut them up. Oh, y'all missing me. It's my fault I'm up in there. It's my fault I'm behind. Every time I look at my purse, I say it's my fault. Every time you look at a person, you be like, man, I've got too many purses. I could have sold some of this at the kingdom of God. It's my fault they called me. Now got but then can I set up a meeting? I need to get my finances straight. <laughs> you must keep what? First things first. Look at, look at, look at real quick. Say, Chris, eight, 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 real quick. Eight, eight, real quick. More of a brother, we do you with the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. How that in great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded up into riches of their liber liberality. They were so free that, that, that it doesn't matter what was going on. Listen to me. For their power, I bear record, yea, and beyond their power, they were willing of themselves. Watch this, verse 4. They were praying us with much entreaty. Uh -huh, they were showing up the, the intercessory prayer that we would receive the gift. And take upon us the fellowship of the ministering uh, to the saints. Verse 5 says, and this is what they did. Watch this. And this is what they did. And this is what they did. Not as we hope. But first, they gave their own selves to the Lord. First things were first. They say, I'm up in some big trouble. Bill collectors running me. Everybody's running me. My money's running me. I'm supposed to run my money. Money asking me where you at? Where am I? Make more of me. How many of you, you, you're scared. You're running from your money. You're running from your bill collector. You're running from folk. You're hiding from folk. You're ducking and dodging. You see somebody chicken flay the other day and you start ducking. But this is where the ducking stop. When you start saying, God, I give myself to you. The songwriter says, I give myself away that you can use me. And when I give myself to God, he opens up windows that has no room to rest. First things first, the Macedonian church gave themselves to the Lord and their prosperity became legendary. If you ain't in here in Beaumont, Texas today, you're missing out on legendary status. First, Pastor Sharp gave himself to the Lord and the rest became legendary. I was looking at uh, Facebook, YouTube the other day. Pastor Sharp reminded me of some stuff, gave my, just gave me some chill bumps. Talking about he walked away from Exxon Mobil. Man, the work there, you know where he was at. I mean, I walked away from some stuff, but man, I. I think my stuff wasn't about twelve dollars an hour when I walked away from. It. You know, I'm a little younger. You know, I just, you know, but but to hear that got me some bumps. I was like, Lord, I really did walk away from the stuff. I mean, that's some kind of stuff that make you think. See, when you dedicated to God, you are connected to Him and His pleasures. Go to Psalms 92 real quick. Say, I'm connected. I'm connected. Yeah, Psalms 92. Psalms 92, I'm connected to, I'm connected to his pleasures. I, see, when I'm connected to God's pleasures, I don't owe anybody an explanation of what I got. You don't wake up every day and say, oh, I'm sorry I live in this house. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited to get this car. No, you don't owe anybody nothing. Because you figured you work every day like everybody else. And that's how it is when you're connected to God. You don't owe anybody an no explanation of overflow. Let's practice. Just touch your neighbor and say, it is what it is. <laughs> Psalms 92, 13, real quick. Come on, I got to get up. Uh, watch this. Psalm 92, Psalm 92, Psalm 92. Y'all got it? Yeah, yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's the truth, here it is. When you're dedicated to God, you're connected to him, and you also connect to his pleasures. Look at verse 13. Psalm 92, verse 13 says, Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat. Young people, help me translate the word fat. The word fat means not the digits on your scale will go up, but the word fat means you're going to blow up. 
If I got a witness here. Now watch this. What is the secret sauce in here? Listen to me. Listen to me real quick. I'm going I'm to I'm drop. I don't want to really give out my secret, but Nick, I might as well give it to y'all. We family. Amen. <laughs> Here it is. The secret is in, in verse 13. It says, those that are planted in the house of the Lord, we only flourish in the courts. That means if you get out the house, the stuff get repossessed. <laughs> the blessing of dedication going to be as long as you stay up in the house. How do I know? Because verse 14 is connected to verse 13. It says that you're going to continue to get this pension in old age. So what you sow today, you're going to reap tomorrow. Okay, here's the principle behind it. Listen to me. Plant yourself in the house of God. Because, listen, when a tree is planted in the ground, it is committed to the spot. How many of you ever, when hurricane season comes, you ever watch Florida? You ever watch Miami? I love watching it in Florida. I don't want the hurricane to hit them all the time, but I love the tree, the palm tree. It's committed to that spot. It can care less about Katrina, Katrina them, cutting them and Lucy. It can care less about Hurricane Ricky. The tree said, I ain't going nowhere because this spot is what my foundation is. And there's a blessing in the foundation. Have I got a witness here? I don't care what I don't have, what I used to have. I ain't going nowhere because what shop got, I need. There's a blessing. The tree is dedicated to the spot because it was planted there. It don't even know no other spot. A tree don't know how to go anywhere else. It just knows how to stay where it was planted. And if you go test the lie and say, God told me to be over here, you better stay over here. Because you got to be dedicated because there's a blessing in dedication. Here we go. We didn't got the mess out. Watch this. Don't leave God when things don't work out your way. Be careful of what comes out of your mouth after the devil has his show. Because the next words are critical to the foundation and it'll mess your dedication and the blessing from the dedication up. Okay, how many of you used to play red light, green light? Red light, green light. When you get caught, you go back and start over again. And sometimes when you plant it, there's some people get caught and you got to go back and start over again. Now, I just made some people mad. Watch this. Because some of you say, do you mean to tell me, preacher, that I should be far above where I am today if I would have left that foolishness alone? Single people in the house. Single people in the house. I feel like Chris Brown right now. Throw up the deuces to every zero that is messing you up because you ain't got time for that mess. Yeah, I'm at the church. Yeah, I'm going to be there Tuesday. Yeah, I'm going back Thursday. Yeah, I'm going to meet Sister Polly for innocence and prayer. Because that's where I'm planted and that's where I'm going to stay. Look around to you. Look around, look around, look around, look around. He has already shown you what he's capable of doing. I remember Pastor Arcade out there. We had a... Uh, we were doing, he came, he say, I say, I don't want to call him to come down here because he looked bad. Watch this. But, but what happened was, Charles so said, it couldn't be bad of what I just, just looked at. In other words, he came in here and it was messed up. How many of you remember that? The seats were all tore up. I still got the pictures. I, got, I keep stuff for my friends. You understand what I'm saying? Tow up, what you gonna do? Oh, so you know, I called Sharp. I said, Sharp, find a little building. You know, it ain't big as the, the, the uh, you know, how you are. Sometimes you gotta get all that, that little mushy stuff out the way, little man syndrome out the way. Sharp said, Dave, I'm coming down right now. He came down, and pulled up. And I'm like, he finna tell me that, man, this thing here ain't working. Man, he jumped out the ride. He said, 
Y'all know he did, don't it? He said, Dad, boy, this is bad. I said, man, we ain't fixed nothing yet. He said, I can't see what it is now. I only trained to see what it's about to. I told him, well, this next phrase I'm going to have is going to blow your mind. I don't even have no money, but I told the dude to start next week. <laughs> That's who I hang around. Amen. A dedicated person like a tree brings forth fruit in its season. Psalms 1, don't turn. got time. I got to go to Psalms 33 to close. Watch this. Psalms 1 is this. Listen to me. I receive it. Jesus' name. Watch this. Psalms 1 real quickly says, be careful of who you hang around. Be careful of who you get out in the way of. Get, a, get out the way. That's some people you need to dodge away from. I need to get out of the way of sinners. Psalms 1 verse 3 says, he says, watch out how you receive counsel of the ungodly. How, how, how can people that don't serve like I do tell me what I should be doing? They don't even have the same 3D glasses that I'm looking at my faith through. <laughs> have I got a witness to this? They still in one and two dimensional. I'm in three and four dimensional. <laughs> they can't tell me what I can see, so get away from them. He says, you should be like a tree that like we talked about early that's planted by the rivers of water which represents the Holy Ghost that constantly in the word of God that flows in your life. And it says, in due season, you going to reap. Somebody say there's a blessing in dedication. Okay, 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 okay. How many of you are not afraid to say I've been through some stuff, Pastor? Okay, okay. How many of you are not afraid to say, in fact, I just may be still in some of the stuff I've been through? I, I got good news for you. Watch this. How many of you have ever had a baby? What's inside of you don't come out until the contractions get near. And for those of you who don't know what contraction is, contractions are pain. In other words, the more, the closer the pain get, the more the baby about to come out. Have I got a witness here? And sometimes it hurts before it comes out. And that's what some of you are going. It's about to come out. And that's why folk is tripping on your job. Uh, I feel like preaching up in here. How many of you know I'm almost there? And that's why it's about to come out. What do I do? What do I do, Pastor? Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. If I'm hurting and the contractions are getting closer and what's on the inside of me about to come out, what do I do? Throw a baby shower. Have I got a witness here? Because the baby shower lets everybody know that you're in agreement, even though the baby's not here, that everybody gonna bring gifts because they believe that the baby is coming. Somebody shout push real quick. It's coming out. Somebody shout push. Point at pastor, say push. It's coming. We might have to induce, but it's coming. It's coming. I receive it. It's coming. It's coming. Listen to me real closely. I got to ask you this. Facebook friends in 21st century people, listen to me. Twitter, all that. I got to ask this because we get excited and, I, and the Holy Spirit say, ask them this. I hate to come down from my high, but I got to give you this. Are you a fan or a follower? What's the difference? Well, I'm going off in due season. Listen to me. What's the difference? A fan, watch this, talks about the game when everything's going good. But a follower buys season tickets. That means my seat's already paid for. And no matter if y'all go 0 and 18, I got to stay right here. Have I got a witness it? How many fans I got in here that when the going gets good, everybody, I'm on fake Christian Center. But how many of you know when the going gets bad, you got to be a follower first of Christ? Say, I got season tickets. I got season tickets. 